The Paint Effect to Curve tool has received a major upgrade. Before painting, we will now need to create UV on a base mesh. This is required for the improved feature. Simply select a base mesh and click Create UV. We will get a warning saying the mesh will be auto UV'd and history deleted. Please be careful. We might have UV or histories that need to be kept. In this case, I want to keep this nicely laid out UV on the sphere. Simply duplicate the geometry, and I highly recommend doing this, and use the duplicated geometry as the paint effect mesh. As we can see, the UV has been auto-projected and the histories are deleted as well. Like before, the tool offers two drawing modes, paint effects or auto convert to curve. With paint effect mode, if we draw it using a tablet, it can feel more artistic. In this version, we can now re-enter the paint effect tool by clicking on the G key on the keyboard. For example, if we need to exit the painting tool, to modify the geometry or anything, in the previous version, we will need to reselect the geometry, and click on the paint button to re-enter the tool. Now we can simply click on the G key on the keyboard will re-enter the paint tool. This makes the painting experience smoother. The paint at depth option is also exposed from the paint effect tools. This allows us to draw away from the base mesh. One thing to note about the Draw at Depth option is that when a stroke is drawn using this mode, the stroke will not move with the geometry. We will now convert the paint effect strokes to curves. Let's rebuild the curves a bit and smooth them. And if we want to average them, simply click on the Average button. This will be useful when creating short hair guides. We can also key in the length manually and set it to the curves. Let's explore the auto convert to curve paint option. We now get a length parameter displayed at each stroke. The curve spans is the number of spans on each curve when drawn. We can set it higher if denser CV is required. A new option, target length, is added. This allows us to paint a curve with predetermined length. When creating guides for short hairstyles, we can always start from the bottom and work our way up. With this option, we can now make sure the curves at the bottom are always the shortest and increasing in length as we move up higher on the scalp. The drawn curves are not readily usable and require some work. To help with this, we can create a volume mesh from the base geometry. Select the base mesh and click on the volume mesh button and pull the Z-axis handle to inflate the geometry. In this version, we can now simply select the group node of the curves from the paint effect tool and shift select the volume mesh to snap curves. We might want to try the curl or the semi-curl ramp shape so the curves are more smoothly snapped to the volume mesh. We are not restricted to the shape of the volume mesh, in any moment, we can always adjust the geometry if needed.
and re-snapping the curves to get even more volume. We can even wrap the curves to the volume mesh, or any mesh. And now moving the geometry will also move the curves. I like to point out an possible issue with the auto convert to curve mode. When using target length option, and if we paint too fast, the tool will lag behind a bit and a few curves might not get its desired length. We can see there's an issue here now if I paint it fast enough. It's better to wait for the curve to readjust to the target length before painting the next stroke. 